Good morning YouTube. So the order for today is going to be a little bit different because we're not weight training. I'm still in like the recovery phase from the show and the depletion and all that. So the order is a little bit different, hence why I slept in and stayed up really late yesterday. Document the journey 37. Second day. Second, third day of the reverse diet. Very well. 170.2. Now I'm about maybe a pound, maybe two pounds at most above. Stage weight feels very good, really good with self confidence. Um, Monday, I was just devastated, just devastated uh, when I saw 177. I was not prepared mentally to handle that, and I looked like crap. Um, and it's not even like the oh, I look bad and feel bad for me, it's just the, the large jump in a short amount of time, and just seeing work disappear that quickly. And it really puts into perspective how fast that stuff can disappear. I mean, that was only 48 hours, but. So far, Monday, Tuesday, hit macros perfectly according to plan, um, and, and things are looking really well. So, no time to waste. Let's just jump right into the day. Structural MD Innovated Civil Engineering. Pancakes and Powerlifting has 1,000 visits per day. Brick Clothing does $100 million in revenue per year. I won USAPL Nationals. I graduated as summa cum laude. I am a multi-billionaire. I own a jet, 20 cars, and a $10 million country home. I donated millions of dollars to the troops. I empty the bucket for everyone. Got a whole bunch of goodies this morning. Half cup of almond milk, two cups of puffed rice, cup of Greek yogurt fat free with sugar free pudding mix. Uh, this is like three servings of egg whites and then a protein pancake and turkey bacon. So I got out the CAD file that I needed to which was due today but the Wi-Fi has been giving me issues all morning, like going in and out, and it's absolutely driving me freaking nuts. Like, ugh. title of this video, Wi-Fi Problems. And a video of me with a hammer smashing the piss out of the Wi-Fi. Hard to, yeah. Ugh. So what the podcast letters were was basically, I went through my contact list of everyone I've ever met or you know, been in contact with since starting school at the University of Akron um, in the fall of 2012. So it was a list of about 200 people, give or take. Um, basically, I sent all of them a letter about the podcast. I started out with the really generalized form, then I added in a sentence or two that kind of customized it, whether it's how we met, you know, inside jokes, things of that nature, make it a little bit more personable. One of the problems I had with this product was the pursuit of perfection. Always like seeing something and going back and redoing it for all 200. Seeing another small thing, going back and redoing it for all 200. See another thing. And then it started happening again. And eventually I just had to get to the point where it's like, this is never going to be 100% perfect. I'm always going to find something to change. And I'm, otherwise I'm going to keep changing letters, which has been going on for a month, versus just sending them out and, you know, adjusting going forward. Otherwise, they're just going to keep getting changed and changed and changed, and it's never going to do anything. I'd rather send out 200 letters that have some imperfections and get some listeners and grow the Structural MD and the podcast versus have 200 perfect letters that never leave my Dropbox account, if you will, or computer because they're not you know, on there, um, then send it out. So I just have to print them and stuff them, but the big part's done. Um, hopefully, I'll print those later today combining them right now into one giant document but time to go on for lunch 500 grams of romaine 60 grams guacamole and some of this next up some rice cakes sriracha mustard ham colby jack cheese good old pb2 a serving sugar-free jelly and you know the rice cakes per usual last but not least the most filling frosty you'll ever freaking eat Flexible dining lifestyle, check them out. So a couple of other items I just took a few seconds to go and do was one, 
because I do so much freelance side hustle, whatever type work, I just created a freelance billing sheet. Basically, I am my own accountant. So what I did was create a spreadsheet, who I worked for, what I did, how much I did, what the hourly rate is, how did I bill them, was it a paper copy, was it through PayPal, PayPal is the easiest, um, did I bill them, have they paid me, and uh, definitely it's getting too hard to keep track of everything. Second thing I'm going to do real quick is pull my Discover bills for January, February, March, and April, I think I can pull April and uh, go through and highlight business expenses for Structural MD uh, when it comes to running Facebook ads uh, and things of that nature. Short nap before class, like 10 minutes. Okay, I lied, we're just gonna go make dinner real quick. Structural MD Innovated Civil Engineering. Pancakes and Powerlifting has 1,000 visits per day. Brick Clothing does $100 million in revenue per year. I won USAPL Nationals. I graduated as summa cum laude. I am a multi-billionaire. I own a jet, 20 cars, and a $10 million country home. I donated millions of dollars to the troops. I empty the bucket for everyone.